Hi, welcome to another Archicad speedboarding tutorial. Today I show you um, a glass facade which is curved and bends around the corner. So I'm starting with this um, building. And the first thing is I do, you cut a section this way and we open that section. I prepared a polyline, this one here. That's the shape I like the facade, the glass facade to be. All right. The next bit I like to do is place some mullions. So we take the fill tool and we draw one. Let's go X 80 plus Y 40 minus. So that's the mullion size I like to have horizontal. So I drag that one. For now, I just drag it down here, move it into the middle. And I like to distribute just two, one in the middle here and there to the next story. So let's do that one. Distribute two. And I don't need that one. All right. Go in the middle here. And I like to go in the middle here. All right, so that's got two. And let's duplicate them up. There we go and another one. All right, now what we have to do is we move them into the middle of my polygon line. With this one we cheat a little bit, let's put that at the top. Um, there we go. All right, so that's now my horizontal um, mulligans. The next bit I want to draw is glass along this spline. So what I do is you select the spline, you copy that and paste it into the full plan. There we go. Now instead of using the fill straight away, which is much harder because I want a, um, a width of 20 mil along here. Um, I'm not using the fill, I'm using the wall tool. So I'm going here Height doesn't matter, All right, I want a 20 thickness, the glass. Don't worry about material. And I put it on a layer called one too high. So I do a space click here. And now the next bit is you have to select that one. And I like to reshape it with exporting it into the current view. Don't need the originals, I say okay. Next bit, you do a marquee tool, go to the fill. Select all, so we'll only select the fills, and I copy this back to my section, and I paste it back in here. All right, it's a bit dark. Let's make that a bit bigger, and we use this one here. Yeah, all right, that's better, so I can see it. So we drag it over. That's my glass. There you go. So I got my glass, got my mullions, which is all the horizontal ones. And what I do next is we have to create a profile for this. So the so the fill is already selected. So what I do is I select the other fills, which are my mullions, and we copy this, and we open the profile. To a profile, I call this facade horizontal and put a one there. There we go. So we paste that in here, center of current view, zoom, I'll do, and I go and place it to my origin. There we go. Perfect. Okay, next bit we have to do, as always, we have to apply uh, material by overriding the surface. So I select my glass. And I will put this on glass. 
last one. Then I select the mullions and let's put this on a frame. Okay, perfect. So we store this profile and we get back. Gotta make sure I'm starting it at level one. So back to level one and I choose my wall custom and we go to the facade horizontal. Take those out. Here I created two layers called um, glass facade horizontal and you will see after I need the one vertical. All right, let's draw our horizontal facade along this slab here. All right, let's see what we got so far. Here you go. Now obviously I want to bend this. Select, make sure you don't have the groups on. It has to be unsuspended and we curve our facade. Just there we go. Right. All right, let's go back into 3D and see what's happened here. All right, there you go. Let's get back to our floor plan. As you can see, because I used a wall and it's connecting to a wall, it looks a bit funny here on both sides. So what you can do is you select and you just move it by one millimeter down. So they're not really connected. And you can zoom in, but you'll never see it. But before I do the other one, the other one, uh, the other corner here, I show you why Archicad does it and it actually can be very useful if we go into 3d Okay, now if I am um, select them I just And I change them the reference line to the other side I'll show you what happens. See the left hand side. I cleaned that up. I had a one millimeter uh, Distance, but here they're still joined together and you can see how nice the article just cuts along that's perfect, that's what you want. But in my case, I don't want it, so I will detach this by one millimeter on that side too. Let's go back, the reference line, and we go and just move this by x1 minus. All right, so this looks good now. Next bit is I wanna do my vertical mulligans. So what you do is, we got this profile for facade horizontal and I just copy this and I name this vertical. So now next bit is the mullion. I want it actually in thickness, you know, much thicker than the glass. So what we can do is I go back to my 2D drawing, ground floor, and we um, take this polyline again, go to the wall, and I like a wall thickness this time of 100. Again, like I said, doesn't matter how high. And um, put it on to hide layer, and we just space click this. Oops, let's undo this. I want it in the middle, center, space click. Okay, same scenario again. We reshape and we explode it. Take mark key, fill, select all, we copy, and this is the vertical one. Edit profile and paste it in here. All right, let's move it over here for now. So we select this and we give this also the same material and let's just group that one and we move it in place so we take it here from the middle move it nicely down here there you go all right let's delete the rest perfect and restore. All right, let's get back to our floor plan. 
uh, start at drawing level one. Okay, so what we do is now, you just hold click on this to make sure you got that. And we choose the second profile, which is the vertical one. And I put this on my vertical layer. All right, let's draw my first vertical manual. And we do this X, 80 plus. There we go, let's have a quick look how that looks. All right, you can see that's, that's my first one here. All right. To get it now the same as my curtain wall, uh, I show us preference the ground floor and we drag it over here. There you go, and make it the same thickness. Might as well. All right, I know my curtain will well, it's about 1200 apart, so what I do is select this. What we do is we go multiply, we spread it by 1200. Uh, don't pick a path. And we just go along here. There we go. Last one. It starts to turn already, so that won't fit for now. So what we do is we zoom in. Go there first because you have to rotate it to the exact corner. There we go. And then you move it back. All right, let's see what we got for now. Looks pretty good. Rotate this around now by how many times we just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I need fourteen. So we'll rotate and I need fourteen. Copy this fourteen. No path again. And I go and pick the right one. You have to be careful here. Is it? There you go. And we go from here to here. You can see what happens. That's the wrong setting on the step. It's actually good that happened because you can see what happened. What I can do next, we have to go rotate to path. All right. Let's try that again. There we go. And we go from there to there. That should have worked perfectly. Yes, there's one too many there, which is fine because this one now I can rotate and straighten up and move backwards to where I need it. And there's one, two, three, four. So I need four of those. Drag, spread 1200. All right, let's have a look. That looks pretty good there. You've got all the mullions vertical and you have all the mullions in horizontal. Okay, let's go and have a look inside. There we go. As you can see, I forgot to move the glass facade down to the correct height. I'll show you how you can do that quite quickly. Let's get back to our section. And see, you know, this is where it should be. So you just measure from here to here is 160. All right, you can easily select this now at once. Open, find and select. We add a layer, which is the facade horizontal, and just add another layer. This time we add facade vertical, hit plus and it's all selected. And all you have to do is lower it by 160. All right, so if I go back to my section, it will move down perfectly. All right, one other thing I want to show before I let you go on to show you is, you see at the bottom I have glass at the moment, but because we got a profile, it's very easy to say now, look, actually, I prefer to have a different material here. Let's use the same material as the mullions. 
you store the profile and you go back to your 3D and it will just update straight away. There you go. All right. One more thing we have to do is to close up the edges. So what we do is you have to go back to your section and take a fill. which we go along here, all right? There we go, and up, all right? Make sure it all fits. Yeah, that's pretty good. And what are the ones we take this field tool and copy it. The reason is if I go down to my profiler and I choose a horizontal one and I duplicate this one, that's horizontal one. Edit profile and I paste it in. You can see why I use this one here, because I can place it exactly where I need to. There you go. So this will fit perfectly in a moment. You select everything, keep this one, because that's the end bit. I want this glass. And we store profile. All right, let's come back here. Take one of those. Duplicate a copy. All you have to do is that one. All right, can we move it back? Okay, let's see how it looks in 3D. There you go. What happens is, even so, I gave it a glass material, a tog on the mullion material. Uh, in this case, look, it's very easy fixed. You just select that piece. And because when you got one material in your profile, just change it here to glass. It, it's much easier. There we go. Glass. All right, perfect. We obviously would have to do another one on the other side there. But look, this is just a tutorial. You know what to do now. So I leave it at that. By the way, if you ask yourself why this actually dropped exactly where it should be, this has to do with, you can see it actually here, a left the piece up here and then move it down to the origin you see if you would take this and move it down here that's not what you do okay just leave it all right let's get back down here I just render one up quickly see how that looks how's this one it doesn't really look the way I want it so I can fix this if any of you are users now an easier way how to fix this let me know what I do is, I just do as before, you know, st stretch this by one millimeter this way. And let's re-render this now. All right, this looks much better. That's what I wanted. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you back next time. Bye for now.